Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough Sniper Elite V2 Remastered. Having a lot of fun with this game for you guys, and we're continuing where we left off. And if you enjoy this series, please do drop a like on it. It does help the series out a lot, and does help the algorithm. So we're going to be doing St. Olibardus Church. So let's do it. Sniper Elite. Whatever Wolf was planning, I'd have to worry about it later. I had fresh intel on Muller. He'd been transferred to take command of the Tiergarten Flak Tower. I don't like improvising, but HQ reckoned they'd found a location for the shot, and they'd send an airdrop with plans and supplies. Trouble was, the Flyboys had missed the drop zone. They managed to land it in the worst possible location, at the top of a church tower. The only question was, who would I find waiting for me? The Jerrys or the Reds? No doubt they'd be expecting me. So they dropped Carl a um uh, they dropped Carl a um a supply drop, but it was in the worst possible location that they could have dropped it in. Um Okay, let's see here. Uh you know, take three F one grenades, those are pretty helpful. Uh and we're gonna be running the um Mos and the Gaunt, but then we'll get another gun like halfway through um Okay, so here we go. Okay, we just wait for the church bells to ring. It'll cover our shots. Perfect. Got another one. Try to remember if there's a sniper at the top of the church tower. I guess not. I don't see anything right now. Now there's a tiger tank up the street and more guys. We're gonna sneak past them. It's kind of crazy, you know, when you think about it, um, even though this was the first Sniper Elite game with, um, in this, um, uh, universe, because Sniper Elite 1 is kind of a different universe, um, uh, the other ones were prequels, and so, uh, Car Carl starts out in the North African theater, then in Italy, then in France, and now Berlin. So I like listening to these conversations where you sneak up on these enemies, so these guys have realized that it's over, they have no chance of winning. And uh, most German soldiers at this time in Berlin, they realized that it was over. They realized they had no chances of winning the war. So I don't know what that first guy said to him, but... Seems like that first soldier knew that it was over. There's no point in, um, uh, no point in fighting anymore. So one, one of those guys right there, he says that, um, uh, a week ago that he was at the Battle of Silo Heights. Silo Heights was a battle that was right outside Berlin. It was in a lot of fields. It was the final battle that the Soviets, um, fought with the Germans before they moved on to Berlin. It also appears in Call of Duty World at War. So the only um the only soldiers that really still believed that like Germany could win were the um the SS scumbags, the people that were the most fanatical to the Nazi regime regime. Those guys were the only ones that actually believed that they could still win. The average German soldier at this time knew that it was over and most of the Ber the Berlin um uh most of Berlin's soldiers were actually um uh, civilians at this time. A lot of them were Volksturm, Volksturm like pronouncing that correctly, but uh, they were basically just citizens that were um, drafted into the military. They had no military training beforehand. Um, a lot of them were very old. Um, uh, some of them were people that had illnesses that would disqualify them from military service beforehand. The uh, Germans even used kids. Oh, there's a sniper up there. So there was Hitler Youth that also fought in the Battle of Berlin. Hitler was a maniac. Um, uh, 
his his ego was through the roof. He was gonna sacrifice every single last German. He didn't care if he threw the um, uh, kids at the Soviets. He was gonna uh, sacrifice every uh, German for his personal ego. Even when Hitler killed himself, he still gave the order um, to keep fighting. No surrender whatsoever. Okay, wait for the other guy to pass too. So I just stay right here, wait for these two guys to pass. Ridiculous, that sniper up there is a bit annoying. Ah. Okay, we're good. The sniper doesn't alert the other guys, by the way, so you don't gotta worry about him. Now, if you actually got detected in this part, you have to fight so many enemies and the tiger tank, which is just really annoying. These guys you gotta take out. And then there's gonna be another guy in that room over there. So a lot of World War II games don't cover the Battle of Berlin, um, uh, this game does. Okay, so he snuck past all the guys in the tanks. Now, in this part in the church, there's one guy you can kill quietly, but then there's two other guys that you have to kill. Um, uh, the, you'll get detected either way. So a lot of people don't know. You can just sneak past all these guys to the church. A lot of people just go guns blazing in this part, but I hope this help video helps people for anybody that's using this as a guide to get through them quietly. Okay. Retrieve the drop package. Now, there's going to be a guy... a bit weird. Usually there's a guy that spawns here. Very weird that he's not here at this point. Great. Sniper's here now. Yeah, that guy I'm gonna have to deal with. Be careful, because I think there still might be another guy up here. Oh, yeah. What? 
usually gives you an option to melee, but I guess it didn't there. Okay. I think we're good now. Uh, and, um, I'm gonna put some mines down. Because this position will actually get, um, uh, overrun a little bit later. Can't I put this... Weird, um... There we go, okay. Okay, and that, two trip wires. Okay, let's get up to the church tower now. Gewehr 43, ZF4 telescopic sight, four times magnification. Nice. No time for a test drive, though. Fritz had spotted me, as I'd known they would. Now, the thing about the Gewehr 43 is the Gewehr 43 was really easy to mount a ZF4 telescopic sight. There was basically this little latch that you would pull. You would open up. You would open up this little slide, and then you'd slide on the um the scope. That was it very simple mechanism to attach a, a scope where other other rifles you actually had to like drill okay got him okay this part's gonna be epic MG42. Not for long. I don't think I've missed once yet, have I? goes to miss. Okay, survive the German attack. Okay, gonna move on to the other positions now. I love the soundtrack in this game. It's a 223 armored car. Okay, get rid of the armored car first. Ah, take cover here. Hurt. Get some of our breath back too. Trip mine got someone.
man, I am just destroying them. this side. Hope you guys like my accuracy here. Okay. Okay, third the third attack. Oh, they're bringing in a tiger tank. I got that's gonna go first. The tiger tank's gotta go. bit lower and what I'm doing is I'm um if you notice how I'm because it's such a small target to hit the gasoline on the tiger tank I have to really carefully see where my shots are, are going and then adjust got it tiger down If you see I'm aiming a little bit to the right side, that's because the, the wind is going a little bit to the left. Ooh. Trip mine went off again, okay. And the Gewehr 43, this fires the 8mm Mauser, the same bullet as the Car 98 and the MG42, uh, and the FG42 as well, um, okay, bring the Thompson. Almost clear. The Thompson is the best submachine gun in Sniper Elite V2, but you can't find ammo for it anywhere. This is what I kept the F1 grenades for. The thing, the good thing about the 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 style style hand grenade, the German grenade, has more range because it's a stick grenade, so you can throw it farther. And it has a bigger blast radius, but the Soviet F1 grenades have a shorter fuse. 
So that's, um, well, at least in this game. So that's why it's, um, uh, I, I like it for situations like this. Oh, there we go, we did it. Um, 24 headshots, nice. What was my accuracy? 78%, pretty good. So three out of four, I've landed three out of four shots, roughly. Um, uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'll have the next part for you guys as soon as I can. And the next mission is one of the best Sniper Elite V2 missions, the Tear Garden Flak Tower. One of the best missions of all time. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone, and have a wonderful day, guys.